Hi, I'm, I'm getting ready. I'm prepping to um, set up a, a reading for us, and I, and I noticed this, uh, the great hair, and I'm, I'm assuming it's the same one that was in the storm. If anybody watched that video, it was, it was a daily word I did, I think, but, um, he's preening himself now on the dock. I'm going to see, I'm going to see if he'll let me, I'm going to open up this door and I'm going to see, uh, say, good morning, Kuan Yin, how are you? <laughs> I'm getting ready to do a reading for us for the month of August, for all the Leos and Virgos, happy birthday, Oh. Oh, no, I scared him away. Maybe I shouldn't have been talking. All right, well, I'll see you in a little while. Ciao. Welcome, everyone. How are you? Okay, well, this is a monthly reading for August 2014. I haven't had a monthly reading in a while, so... Yes, it's time, so I'm feeling settled, and I think I'm back on track with the monthly readings, because I kind of like them personally myself, so yes, and today I'm going to work with a new deck, okay, well actually it's a deck sort of that I've kind of, I've kind of been working on, on myself, or with, you know, on my own rather, but um, it's called the Ghost Spirits Tarot by Lisa Hunt. And Lisa Hunt also did, I think, the Mystical Animals, if I'm correct. But she, she's, she, this is my first tarot deck um, by her, but I know she has others, Lisa Hunt. So it's called Ghost Spirits Tarot. And the King of Cups is on the back, so, you know... He's all patronly and uh, a cool, a cool figure, good archetype spirit. So, you know, I kind of figured I'd be interested in this deck, and I have. So I brought it out, and I'm also going to be working with Chiro Marchetti's um, Gateway to the Divine Tarot here. Okay, the book and his deck so we're going to be going through that because I think that and this is uh, the high priestess is in is the front there so because we really want to start getting our intuition and tapping these spirit realms okay I think that's going to be really important for us to understand even about the aliens if you're even believing the aliens which I most totally do but and then I'm going to close with Archangel Michael, okay? So we're going to pull one from him to see where his support for us is during this reading for the month of um, August. And this is the little book for the ghosts and uh, spirits tarot. So I'll be reading from the little books and definitely from the Ciro Mar Marchetti, you know. We'll, we'll, we'll play it out. But I also want to bring highlight because I've organized all my decks. These were some decks that I never brought out prior uh, to this booth, uh, or I never brought out prior to on YouTube because they're, they're kind of, um, uh, I don't know what, how to say, they're intense in the respect that they're very direct and, but I think there's something that we should bring out and this is called Tarot of the Spirit World and Tarot of Atlantis. I mean, they're very kind of brain, you know, you have to be thinking, you know, it's not like pulling out one of the, you know, the beautiful little fairy messages card and by the picture, you know what it's saying. You know, this is like, you gotta really, uh, you know, be alert and understand what's going on. But I will, I do wanna bring them out because I think, I think it's time like to tap you know, even Atlantis, you know, that ancient realm that is still really here with us. We, we just got to go through that dimension, okay, to that uh, astral scenario. So let's do it via the cards because I have them, and let's start learning how to awaken to them. 
Okay, so again, happy birthday to the Virgos and the Leos. Leos are ready. Those in July 23rd or something. But, um, yes, you know, and, uh, the Leos, you guys are that fire, and uh, you come from your heart. And I think, you know, I know a few Leos, actually. Uh, so I am just always find you guys a little fascinating uh, because you are pretty much stand up um, for your zodiac sign, you know, and uh, and sometimes the same way you can be stubborn and a little vain, you know, and domineering, but overall you're so loyal to the people you adore from your heart, which is the love factor of the Leos, which is why I am happy to do this reading for August as my first reading in my new home for 2014. And we'll see what's going on, okay? Oh, the cards are already kind of speaking here. So I'm going to pull out these two, okay? One and two. And I'm going to do a nine-card spread. All right. Very good. And then the Virgos, a little earth sign there. Oh, they're doing again. So I'm already going to pull out four. Okay. I'm going to only pull out four from here for right now. And then we'll go with the um, Chiro Marchetti, and we'll continue. I might pull another card. We'll see, but right now. Okay, and the Virgos, uh, you know, you guys are at my, actually, my uh, moon sign is Virgo. Virgo, my moon is in Virgo. So, um... You know, you guys are observant, we're observant, you know, you have to, you know, I, you know, I hope that, uh, Heron, did I mention the Heron that was out here? I took a little mini clip, but he flew away when I opened up the door. Okay, look, these are getting stuck here, too, so let's pull these one and two. Yes, but anyway, you know, sometimes we can be fussy, so... You know, people, it's just about getting in the flow. You gotta meditate. We, we really, I, I really feel that even with the move, not having television, I still don't even have, um, you know, my television up. It's everything's on the floor. Um, but what I'm trying to say is that that's nice when you know you didn't have the chatter. You gotta turn the chatter off if you want to start tapping these realms that, you know, I'm gonna read with these cards today. Okay these gateways, you know, like, like, you know, gateway to the divine tarot, we're talking with the spirits, okay, I think it's important for us, we need to start going that route, okay, and, uh, okay, and here we go, two more have just clicked in because it stopped. All right, we've got nine cards on the table right now. All right, let's see what happens. Okay, let me put my glasses on because I know I'll be reading from that little book. And But let's see what first comes out. The Empress, isn't this wonderful? And we know when the Empress shows, it's Venus in the house. Venus rules the Empress. Look how beautiful she's here as an angel. If you can see the angel wings, how wonderful. Looks like there's a little, you know, young child, a younger presence. But there's a, a shape of geometrical design, starlight design on her hair. If you can see that. I don't know, maybe, let me get a little closer. Let me move my chair up a little bit more. Okay. All right. And see the rainbow colors. So I find that so pretty. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Wonderful. So the Empress has arrived. Well, we have to put her here by the dolphin energy. Yes, we do. In the mound of crystals and stones. And then we have the Nine of Wands. All right, my friends, the fire is here. And we look like we have, uh, you know, the Nines. That's that number in the Wands. They're, 
And this is a stressful card. You can see the, 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 um, it's like if they're having a little nightmare here. The person is seeing this face. See, and it's, it's, you know, you can tell it's not a contentment uh, factor here. The spirit is causing a little, uh, you know, fear, distress uh, to this uh, personality here. Uh, but then again, we know that we're here to fight back. You know, we're here to stand our ground with the wands, with the fire and the spirit. Uh, that's why we always want to stand our ground in during that those these kind of moments because we're getting grounded this you know it's you know it's no pun excuse me no pun we get grounded with the earth okay we put those staffs those clubs and we stick them in the earth and we hold on okay we hold on and that's what we keep on going no matter how frightening the images may be lurking in the caves. It looks like he's in a cave there. Okay. Alrighty. Well, we stay strong. We stand, gr stand our ground. Okay. And now we have the three of wands here. So spirit is most definitely in the house, giving, giving lead. Okay. Yes. Alrighty. You know, going to show that there's a. That there's a way for tomorrow with growth and a harvest is to come okay you can see these images and um, I don't work with these this deck a lot but um, you know it, it's to reassure you know that 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 creativity if you create that the visions will come the visions are here and I think this looks like wheat here if it looks like wheat growing but I mean you it's, it's for growth you know that 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 the creative can turn into a celebratory uh, factor that you you know you did on your own with via your spirit you know the fire within you you know so keep going keep going you know stand your ground from fear you know what have we spoken of prior be fierce and fearless, right? Be fierce and fearless, even when it's right in front of you. When it's right in front of you, just keep saying no, and then, you know, the other factors will come, and look what we have as the other factors that come. The sun star, and here we have Leo. You happy birthday, Leos. You know, you're ruled by the sun star. So that's so wonderful, wonderful, wonderful that, um, you know, your star is here because, you know, you Leos, you know, you know, you, you desire to be a star yourselves, which is, you know, why you guys have all that ambition and that, you know, roar, I'm here kind of thing. And, you know, and you guys mainly stand your ground even if you're facing that fear, right? Lions pretty much the main predator on the land, you know, they don't fear too much. So, so the sun is saying the same as the reading is unfolding, you know, stand your ground. You have no fears. I am the sun lord. I am here to protect and give warmth and take care of business, okay? All righty. And then we go to the Chiro Marchetti's. And um, I haven't opened up the little book yet, but um, uh, we'll see what time it is. I'm in 13 minutes. We'll see how it's going here. And we come out um, with um, the hangman, Major Arcana. So we've had the sun, the empress, and now the hangman as the uh, fourth major arcana co to come through. So uh, I, right? No, wait a minute, the third, third. So that's pretty cool. And uh, we know that's about, um, you know, that sacrifice that we're making right now, okay? Because we've arrived, when we think of the archetypes of the major arcana, Prior to this was number 10, the Wheel of Fortune, okay? So, you know, there's the highs and the lows, and we know that there's a cycle. But here now, we, we're we learning, we're learning, we're not the initiate the, at, on the fool's journey, we're kind of now learning 
that it's not about self-sabotage anymore. Like sometimes the fool could just, you know, self-sabotage himself, right? The initiate made another mistake and has to, you know, go back and, you know, talk to the magician again and the high priestess and, you know, the empress and da-da-da. But right now we're here to learn and we self-sacrifice our knowledge to keep moving forward, to reach to that star, okay? Which is the sun, the, the mighty power of the sun. Okay, let's keep going here. Well, you know the devil's always in the details. And he had to come in as the fifth major fourth major arcana, right? Let me count this here again. One, two, three, four fourth major arcana here comes the mr bad boy but um you know as we share he brings much wisdom it's the wisdom that there are other archetypes out there to to learn from okay and he's number 15 he's the 15th person so now is we if just to bring in the hangman for the moment you know that this is an example of where we are self-sacrificing and yes we kind of learn you know that we have a devil on one side and the angel on the opposite I mean that's what I think balance is about you know um, but it's your decisions do you you know sacrifice for the better cause or you're self-sabotaging yourself and others because you know you'd rather listen to mister over here all the time you know like you don't even have angels anymore whether you're clouded via you know the, all the negativity that this card brings because this is just pure evil right here okay you know I'm not saying we don't learn from the evil or the D E V E I L but you know you have the choice is what I'm trying to say okay anyway so we keep moving forward and we have the eight of swords and this is a good card to come um, after just this combo of what we were just talking about because here eight of swords is sort of like a minor scenario of this situation right here okay that you have the devil and you have, you, you know, you haven't even reached, per se, that devil, the, you know, the main energy of this evil, pure evil yet. You know it exists, but you haven't met it yet. But over here, this is sort of like the minor scenario, too, where, you know, you've put yourself in that precarious position, but you're not tied to it, okay? You know, you, you can release yourself. See, she's in a web right there, and yes, she's blindfolded, but she's blinded that all she can do, you know, to the fact that she can take the blindfolds off with her bare hands and get away, okay? Exit from the storm. You know, be fierce and fearless. Don't even, you know, stand your ground. Get off that web. You don't have to be in that darkness that you're allowing yourself to stay in. You know, it, it's it's like a self-sabotage is what it is. That's This is like you're self-sabotaging yourself, okay? So we don't want to go there, okay? And mainly the one who self-sabotages yourself is this, this archetype right here. Whatever level you want to, you know, reach with that, that's pretty much what happens. But see, I'd rather stay with the angel side and reach the ten of cups. <laughs> Because, you see, the devil, or the evil, or, you know, I like to spell it D-slash-E-V-I-L, the D-evil, the D-evil, um, knows nothing of love. And that's what I want to talk about, healing, healing the D-evil. And actually, I have my, I have a little candle lit for a scenario. I'll try to move the camera after I read this, because I'm afraid if I move the camera right now, I can't get it back to where I have it. But we're almost done here now. Then I'll face what I'm trying to say. But the, you know, the the, the evil for, forces, phantom forces, what they don't they don't speak of love. They don't know that love. You know, really, those demons they're they're really animalistic. They're primal. You know, like dragons are animalistic. You know, unicorns, that animals, animals, animals. So are the demons, but so we have to, you know, show love as the healing tool, 
And I know it sounds a little off, but but we'll explain when I do that re that uh, video. I want to do you know the healing of dr I healed dragons and I healed demons. But I'll show you how I've got them resting. Okay, because they want everybody needs resting. You see this little doggy? You know, you're talking about so happy, 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 happy. But see, he's resting in happy fireplace. See the spirit home where the heart is. For the Leo energy in the house today with Venus who is about the beauty and the love of the earth the hearth you know hearth h-e-a-r-t-h -E right that fire this hearth it's so beautiful and 10 is that completion okay completion so let's see what's the next card here we have and we have the knight of coins coming through you know, and, and and that's a cool card to say because that brings in the monetary value, you know, to, to show that all the sowing, the sowing of the fields, S-O-W, the sowing of, your, you know, of the fields has come now to fruition. And you're still young at heart here because it's the night. So there's much still to come. But you've arrived at such a grateful place. So your kingdom is coming because you're still young and you can rule and teach others, you know, via the energy of the woman, the female principle, the empress, the Venus, okay? Because really, you know, even with the male energy, it's that balance that brings home that home, right? When that there's home, it's because you come home to your mama and your papa and your family, right? That's what... You know why we gather for you know family gatherings and hopefully now we can learn not to fight at family gatherings people don't let the d-e-v-i-l in <laughs> okay oh i like this reading i have really actually okay and i know i wanted to do one last thing but let's see but you know we are divine and eternal my friends okay when we speak of spirit you know, let's let's pull out the sun card, and let's see what they say about the Miss Empress. Okay, because these are the cards that came out for the Major Arcana. I do want to say that before I pull Archangel Michael. Okay, you all don't mind, do you? <laughs> I don't think you do. I'm only at 21 minutes. It's not too bad. But you know, we are all eternal, and uh, we don't we don't want to take ourselves too seriously. Okay, on um, right now, you know, on this plane that we're on, this dimension, you know, that I can see you, you can see me, okay, and we can see spirit too, okay, oh, I'm going to turn the camera, I won't forget now because I just saw him over there, um, but um, I, I do want to say that, you know, we, we, we really, we, you know, we got to show the love, that's how we heal, okay, that's the energetic healing, you know, when you, you know, auras, whatever, electromagnetic energy, when there's positive vibes and healing, it shows, it's the aura colors, if you all can see those, okay, so, you know, and, and we want to learn about our karma, karmic lessons too, that's why we want to start healing and showing the love, so we don't keep going backwards in our life and making all this negativity when we come back again, you know, because when we're in the afterlife, there's no sufferings, okay? That love, light, when we say go to the light, when I've shared, when I pass souls to the light, go to the light, go to that white light. We are white light. Go to the white light. Go, go, go. There's no suffering over here, you know? But we'll talk about that because, you know, that's why on the dark side, too, you know, they want you to commit suicide, to keep you here in the darkness. But anyway, we'll talk about that. But let's just read real quick. You know, just, I don't want to say real quick, but I, I, because I don't read this deck too much, I mean, you can see I've never written in the, in the little book, never written in it, but I just do like these cards. I like the energy. Okay, the Empress, excuse me, the Empress, which is, um, again, she's read as the Guardian Spirit. Okay, we re I'm reading the two major arcana cards that came through for this deck. A guardian spirit is a benevolent presence whose mission is one of protection and guidance. The spirit sometimes provides prescient messages at birth or later in life. These spirits could appear as animals as are taught to protect sacred objects and places. This guardian spirit is a bird-shaped shifter 
Okay. There you go. A bird shape shifter. Okay. So she has bird wings, but um, she, you know, still angelic. Looks like dove. The, you know, dove of peace, which of course is the love of dove, the dove of love, which is what the Empress represents Venus, beauty, love, you know, plus home front monetary abundance. These spirits could appear in animals and are taught to protect sacred objects and places. This guardian spirit is a bird shaped shifter. Birds are often messengers of the soul. The presence of the angelic aura helps to instill a sense of hope and well-being. Well, there we are. We picked up on all the images and the divinatory meaning. The nurturing power of a mother figure can help you feel more empowered and creative. By connecting with our animal feminine attributes, we can be more open to all the possibilities before us. Fabulous, fabulous. And you see here the emperor, or I, he's the dragon ghost god. So I, I do want to bring, I want to bring out more of these, okay? But yeah, you know, because they bring up the dragons. It's all metaphysical. This deck, that's the word I'm looking for. It's very metaphysical, these decks. These decks are very metaphysical. So, you know, you have to be, you have to be intuitive. You have to get it, okay? I mean, these are metaphysical decks, but that's what we need. That's what takes you to the next realm. That's like me, as a reader, I can tap this harness because I shared in another reading, I think last month, I, that's what I want us to do, learn and harness through the you know, tarot. If, if you read them yourself, obviously, I'm sure you do, but harness energies, even so when you feel, you can feel it, you don't even need the cards, okay? We learn. Okay, so, and now we're going to the ultimate here, right before the world card. Our star, star, excuse me, our star, shine, sun, the ruler of Leo. Oh, Leo's bringing in the, the house today. Also, fabulousness. Okay, and this says here, the sun and the phrasing says here, the Grateful Dead. I don't know if you can see that. The Grateful Dead, number 19, Major Arcana. In Tales of the Grateful Dead, in quotes, the good-hearted hero pays a dead man's debt and then befriends a stranger on his journey. After bringing a pattern of good fortune, the stranger discloses his true identity as the dead man the hero had kindly helped. Everything has come together in a con confluence of joyful exuberance. The circle of positive, uh, positivism exemplifies the return of good karma. Ooh, we were just talking about the karma, right, people? You know that when we pass, that's why we want that good karma, okay? Let me read that last, that sentence there. The circle of positivism exemplifies the return of the good karma. Okay, that's what we want. All the elements embrace the energy of the sun, ensure that life continues with the good karma. That's why I remember the Egyptians, you know, when Akhenaten came in and wanted to play to Ra, uh, pray to Ra, you know, Atin as the main sun god you know but then they you know the egyptians went back to all the other gods but anyway it's all about the sun and for us you know we gotta believe gotta believe without without this power disc here this this star now this be going on my friends here okay and the divinatory meaning abundance and joy are all encompassing as hard work and kind acts are rewarded, it's important to remember that small joys can culminate into true happiness. Wonderful! Okay, so again, and because um, we, you know, we're talking about the spirit realm and we want to get metaphysical, let's let's get step into this gateway. And since uh, the the uh, 
the the major arcana that came through uh, was the hanging man and the um, uh, the devil himself. Let's put the empress out here and the sun. What a beautiful! This has been a grand reading, and let us not forget Archangel Michael. And I shall turn uh, uh, at the end. I will turn to the vision that I have there. But let's. Uh, I think the. Um, did the hangman come out first? Oh, I'm kind of like caught up here. But let's just go through this. We're at 30 minutes here. Okay, so I don't want to take too much time. But uh, let me just read the divinatory meaning here. Okay. Okay, so let's read the description here or the key words for the hangman in from uh, the gateway to the divine tarot. Okay, the key words are initiation, letting go, biding time, renunciation, surrender, willing sacrifice, suspension, accepting destiny, mysticism, sacrifice, redemption, rethinking your identity. Okay, so that's what we were saying, you know, that self-sacrifice, self okay? Didn't hear about uh, sabotage in here, okay, as a key word. So we don't want to go there, okay? And then, um, and then the description, the fool, the initiate, the zero card, the tarot zero, the fool now hangs suspended from a violet ribbon like an acrobat above a still lake surrounded by silver pillars. He drops coins from his left hand in a manner reminiscent of Odin hanging from the world tree to discover the runes. And we've talked about that too, that, you know, that's how Odin was upside down as he scribed the runes, okay? So, Odin, capital O-D-I-N, for those who are not familiar with the runes, R-U-N-E-S, the, the discs. Uh, I've worked with the runes, if, I'm sure you all know. The falling hourglass can be seen reflected in the mirror See, I'm not even familiar with that. The falling hourglass. Oh, I see it. Yeah, in the center here. Oh, it's 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 on its side. In the mirror, the fool has taken his mask off, and it dangles from his right hand. Neptune fills the night sky. Okay, Neptune's in the house. We got that water, emotional energy, no doubt about it. Very good. And the advice is um. Okay, and the meaning here, the hanging man is in a state of suspension, voluntarily altering, altering his perspective and perception. This card represents sacrificing some part of yourself for something greater. This is the beginning of the initiation, the stage of sacrifice and proof of worthiness. This process continues in the next card with the death, number 13 which represents a symbolic transformation before we birth into a new role. On a mundane level, it can signify delayed gratification or being in a holding pattern. The elemental attribution, water, cold, binds, and wet, adapts. Water is passive, feminine, receptive, sustaining, mysterious, generative, sympathetic, flowing, sensual, sexual, and emotional. The planetary attribution is Neptune. Neptune is the planet of change and delusion. It can represent dreams and fantasies. Neptune can also be addictive, deluded, and deranged. <laughs> and the gifts of this uh, the hangman is self-mastery, new perspective, the ability to function in uncontrolled in uncomfortable circumstances, uncomfortable circumstances. And the advice is try to look at things from a new perspective. Okay, and there's a little quote here by Dennis Whiteley. You must look within for value, but must look beyond for perspective. All right, and I know this is getting along, but you know what? We got the devil, we gotta read about him. Can't let him go denied, right? Boys always in the details, especially in the spirit world. Why I, you know, I, uh, here, let me see if I can turn this camera without, 
Okay, since see, there's there's my uh, sort of my my boy. I call him. I call him my boy. But I've brought him out in a video before. But I keep him at rest. And this is a Himalayan salt rock that I have that I keep. And this is my Bible. These are some crystals that I've, you know, blessed and full moons and charged and they're and then I have a sage that is always ready to be smoked because I believe that with this, uh, energies of the soul that haven't passed, you know, towards the light that they're stuck, we have to smoke them through. So that's why I'm, you know, especially, you know, well, I don't have to explain that. Smudging is all about, you know, clearing negativity, you know, bringing, you know, exiting I you know I've done a smudging video if you'd like to watch that if you have never but anyway the point is it you know that's why it's very important I'm just saying I don't want to take more time in reading but here we have we have the devil okay and um, like I said hi there my friends I I put the card on the computer plate there the the keyboard and it automatically turned off the thing so I apologize for that but I'm back on board here but as I was saying you know smudging is very important and, and that's why I, I'm big big on sea salt as protection pouring it everywhere you know sprinkling it everywhere uh, and sweeping it you know weekly monthly if you know monthly you know when you're doing your spring cleaning whatever you know when you're whenever you're um you know changing the mat you know the covers of the mattress at that time do it you know that's not every day you do that so those kind of projects okay cleansing cleaning but i believe in the himalayan sea salt but that's a block and that's how i keep them at rest i keep my boy at rest okay and we'll talk about more um, at the next video, but this is what we're reading from um, Ciro Marchetti's words, okay? So we, oh, oh, and then when the thing fell, the whole thing, hold on, I'm sorry. That kind of threw me off when the camera turned off. Okay. Alrighty. Let's see, hold on. Where are we? Oh, here we go. Okay. And the key words, and he is known here, the Lord of the Gates of Matter, M-A-T-T-E-R. Key words, uh, materi materiality, material force, temptation, mirth, bondage, entrapment, seduction, golden handcuffs, ignorance, hopelessness, indulgence, greed, fear, arrogance, financial difficulties, confusion, obsession, Doubt, fixation, limitation, seeing beyond the facade. Reverse keywords, fed up, overcome, temptation, seize trap, bound by material considerations. The description, the bare-chested, the bare-chested muscular devil looks at the four suits dangling from his claw-like right hand. Hold on, let me see what he's got going on here. Oh, okay, he's got a pentacle, he's got the cups, he's got... Oh, I see what they say. Okay. All right. Let's see. Okay, so, um... The bare-chested, muscular devil looks at the four suits dangling from his claw-like right hand. The fool sits cowering on an hourglass in the left hand. Holy smokes, people, check this out! Boy! The in the devil card, he's talking to the hangman fool card. Look at that. Because this is the hourglass that we were showing here. Okay. And here you can see that the devil is holding the hourglass and there's the the hangman or the, the fool, the fool. The fool, which we know is the, what we just read as the hangman trying to move on, but um, is holding him. So let's keep on reading. And the and the devil is uh, dangling all the suits: earth, air, fire, and water. Okay. Interesting. This reading is getting interesting. This is a long reading, but you know what? We got August. I mean, for a monthly reading, this is okay. 
Okay, and so the bare-chested muscular devil looks at the four suits dangling from his claw-like right hand, and uh, the fool sits cowering on an hourglass in his left hand. Tentacles extend from his mask-like headdress behind a fair of pillars topped with the symbol of Capricorn, which Capricorn, you know, uh, the trump card is the devil card, okay? For Capricorn, the trump card is the devil card. A great coin glows brightly. The devil is traditionally associated with the archangel Uriel, whose name means fire of God. The fire glowing in the background is the force that creates materiality, including universes and life. The downward pointing pentagram that clasps his cloak represents the elevation of matter over spirit, or in more plain terms, the worship of material things. Okay, you see? And that's why we're here about the universe, okay? The universe comes first, not possessions, not money. That's why we use the word abundance, okay? Meanings. At his worst, the devil represents bondage, addiction, materialism, darkness, and ignorance. The devil may show you how deceptive appearances can be. There are also positive aspects. Um, there are also positive aspects of the devil. Of the devil, Oswell Worth describes the devil as the prince of the material world, a place that could not exist without him. He is at the base of all differenti differentiation between one thing and another. Tarot of the Magicians, page one twenty one. I guess it comes from his book, Prince of the Material World, the Devil by Oswald Worth. The gift of the devil is the ability to achieve personal recognition. Okay? And, and, and that's why I, I, I can keep my boy at rest. Okay? Because it, it's wisdom that you learn, but you don't, you know, get caught up in, in it. Elemental attributes, earth, cold, binds and dry shapes. Earth is passive, feminine, grounding, solid, slow, moving, materializing, productive, fertile, and practical. And that's why I think it's kind of important to talk about the demons and the devils because it is an earth scenario. That's why we see them. You know, that's why we feel them. Uh, and we'll speak more of that spirit realm and that's why I'm trying to open this up with this so this is a great reading on top of you know happy birthday uh, Leo and Virgo but yes it's all good okay positive okay the gift of the devil is the ability to achieve personal recognition uh, again earth is passive feminine grounding slow moving materializing productive fertile and practical the astrological attribution is Capricorn. Capricorn is determined, ambitious, sensual, rule-oriented, careful, reserved, and productive. Capricorn can also be ignorant, pessimistic, parsimonious, reluctant, and fatalistic. The gifts of the devil are recognition and experience. Advice. Understand the nature of appearances. There you go. You know who's warm to your heart and who's just there to backstab you and bleh. okay and the advice is understand the nature of appearances and there is a quote by Thomas Fuller he that is busy is tempted by but one devil he that is idle by a legion and there you go that's why we keep saying get outside get grounded you know don't sit in a dark room get out in the sun okay the sun the devil doesn't hang out in the sun you see this card right here our sun our sun where is our sun card what did I, oh here it is right in front of me I'm sorry see this card this is the card right here that wipes out the devil no doubt about it okay it goes right wink like that 
because the white light, right? The white light all around us, within us, within us, takes us towards the spirit realm where there's no suffering, where the karma is, is, is lessened with bad experiences because we've achieved the white light. We're not where the devil wants us in darkness, where he holds the chains, he holds us, he entraps us. And he's very learned because he's very learned. He's a master at the earth realms too, earth, air, fire, water. But we can still learn from him, but not to the extreme. Everything has balance. But what a great card. And look how beautiful the sun and Venus have come through with Via the Empress. Wonderful. Well, it's been a great reading, and let us close with Archangel Michael. But remember, we are divine and eternal, my friends. We really are. I thought I heard something. We really, I thought I heard little Lala sleeping over there. <laughs> I don't want to turn the camera though. Maybe can I see it? Let's see if we can see Lala now. Okay, boy. Thanks for saying hi. Let me see. There she is. <laughs> She's been sleeping while we've been chatting. <laughs> Wonderful. But thank you again for listening. And I, um, you know, want to thank. I, I'm just, you know, and Mercury also, uh, just because of Virgo, you know, this has been a good communication is try, what I'm trying to say. Um, Mercury is the ruling planet of Virgo. Moon, Virgo is my moon sign. And I was just thinking, you know, boy, what a lot of communication came through because I really want to open up these kind of metaphysical realms of read, or reading, and I think it did come out, that it shows the balance, and it is important because to understand the, the devil, we have to get that metaphysical, we have to not be afraid of the spirit realm, okay, we have to, you know, and, and we have to love, because Virgo is all about lovers, okay, and that's where my moon is, and I think that's why it's important, you know, and as, you know, high priestess, you know, that I am, it's about healing, my friends. It is healing. Even though you know there's a dark side, you got to deal with it, okay? And we're here to love and be loved. And, 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 and even the demons who don't understand about that word, we can heal them with love, okay? You know, it's like the, I, that's why I try to bring up the pit bull mentality. You know, when they're taught to, to, as young, in cages, kept in cages, to just be fed, to fight, they know no love. But when you take that same animal, that same bred breed of animal, and put them in a loving home, it changes. You know, it learns. It, it just, it's from the heart. Leo heart. Leo sun heart. <laughs> Beautiful. And Archangel Michael has to say, Use your imagination and you'll see the answer. And the prayer is, Dear God, thank you for granting me the wisdom and creativity to see your miracles in new and unexpected ways. I gratefully and gracefully accept and appreciate your help. And then you describe your situation and you see Archangel Michael's in that white light all around him and you know it's within him. He's on his pegasus, okay? He's got his wings and he's flying and he's... You know, and it's for us to, you know, focus, you know, think astral, think out there, call it imagination if you want, call it fantasy, but get out of the box, okay? Tap your intuition, okay? And, and, and do the right thing. From here on out, we're going to do the right thing, okay? We know that the evil exists. We know it, and I will continue talking about this, but there can be a balance, and we can try to heal it via the love. And I know it sounds maybe far out for you people who just, you know, think a gun will take care of action. I don't know, but I believe love is, is the highest energy on the planet, and it heals everything. And there's tools of the trade, smudging, salt. We'll talk more, okay? We can heal ourselves, people. Take those psychic baths, okay? Sea salt everywhere. White light all around me and within me. I banish the bane and holy exit. <laughs> I love you, Archangel Michael. Just to say hi. New beginnings and a fresh start. Love you all, my friends. Thank you for watching in a long video today, but I think it was a 
positive one, okay? No more sufferings for us. We are divine and eternal. We have white light. We are. We are in a different plane right now, but it's to learn our karmic lessons so we don't keep going backwards, stuck with the devil. Okay? Ciao. Mwah. See you later. Bye.